fall. And then we'll go into the demo. Mm -hmm. Show a fall. Yeah. <laughs> For <laughs> what? Burp. So um, drop me on purpose how you would just naturally fall, okay? <laughs> so you guys, I might fall towards you, okay? So hold me. I'm going to do easy twist. That means my hand's going to go between our knees this way. And then we twist. So partial fall is that, so just bring your hands down. We're quarterly, so it's relatively safe, right? But be mindful of that feeling when you start doing like timber. That's just, what we do. Just don't wait. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what we do. Don't, don't just wait for your fly to fall. Like at, um, at the base, I'm going to actively bend my knees to lower that distance and then fly. Bring your hands down first before your head hits, okay? Hands and feet. So let's demonstrate. I don't think so. Let's demonstrate the uh, what we need to do, okay? So here we go. Fold up leaf? Yeah, we do fold up leaf. Okay, from fold up leaf, we have that nice 90 angle. I'm going to slowly take my flyer's hand, bend them at the elbow, feed it like like uh, through the needle of an, uh, a needle point, right? And then we're just, we're just going to do a little twist to twist oh. her back here, okay? So one way you can do that is just simply take one hand Put it on her back, and then the other hand on this side, put it on the opposite side of her shoulder this way. So you're creating this kind of twisting motion with your hands here. So here and then here, just a nice gentle push like that, right? Now if your fly is like Magda, you, she's so bendy you can't really stretch her, you can do it a little deeper by putting your knee, putting your, your, the inside of your knee on top of that hand that's on her um, shoulder there. I'm putting it on top. And I'm using my knee to press in this way, like that, while I take this hand and push it back that way. So I'm creating a deep stretch like that. You really have that issue. Okay. <laughs> I've done this before. <laughs> there you go. And one thing I can do is lower my right leg a bit to to put to create that angle that makes it feel a little better. Because most of her weight would be on um, that this hip here. And then on this shoulder here. So again, I'm using this motion here, twisting her this way. I'm using my knee to actively press into the shoulder blade there. And I'm bending this knee this way a little lower to assist that stretch. The same for the other side. I'm going to gently take her hand, help guide her over. So your fly should be able to completely relax and just let them experience um, the stretch, but also she's actively engaging her hips and piking here. The moment she unpikes, she's gonna slip down, okay? She pikes. Again, my knee is gonna come over my hand here and press this way on this side. And this hand is not here, it's on the other side, the opposite side of the body. This is on the front side, this other hand's on the back side, and then I'm creating that stretch this way. Now I'll just gently bring her up and then bend down. <laughs>